Guys, I hope you all had a nice Christmas, got everything that you wanted, and I know what you've all been waiting for. You've been waiting for another video from me. Well, here it is. I know I didn't do a review yesterday of Fulham 1 Wolves 1, so my Tottenham v Wolves preview, I'm going to start off with Fulham 1 Wolves 1 and sort of include it in that. So, let's get on with it. <laughs> First up, guys, who says lightning doesn't strike twice? Because in the space of a year, Sayas has scored on Boxing Day twice in London. One was a will day, one was a tapping. Couldn't get any further difference apart. But he also scored against Fulham as well last year. So Sayas getting his first Premier League goal, great to see. And it was well needed as well because we can't afford to lose to Fulham, especially when you've got Liverpool and Tottenham either side of it. Guys, I hope you all had a nice Christmas, got everything that you wanted, and I know what you've all been waiting for. You've been waiting for another video from me. Well, here it is. I know I didn't do a review yesterday of Fulham 1 Wolves 1, so my Tottenham v Wolves preview, I'm going to start off with Fulham 1 Wolves 1 and sort of include it in that. So, let's get on with it. I do have to say as well, guys, that looking at that performance, it wasn't the best performance. And I do think a draw was fair, especially because we had a lot of the ball. But when we had a lot of the ball, we weren't creating too much. Jimenez had a great chance in the first half where overhead kick, that was fantastic. If that had gone in, I think... I think the whole of Wolverhampton would have jumped up. We also saw other chances as well, but the best bit that I definitely remember, which had to be where everyone was cheering, was Connor Cody clearance off the line. Late on, one ball up the pitch, it outdoes two players, Bennett comes across, miss kicks the ball, Mitrovic gets a shot, and I think it deflects off Bennett's tackle or leg or something like that, takes it past Patricio, and it's like a yard from going in at least, and Cody gets back to clear it off the line. So if Cody doesn't play for England... Then go with Safegate, there's definitely something wrong because Coldy deserves a call up. So, though, guys, we got Tottenham next. We lost 2 0 to Liverpool, no shame in that. They're looking like they could possibly go on to win the league because, let's be honest, Man City have lost to Chelsea, Palace, and Leicester. I mean, if you want to win the league, you don't lose to Crystal Palace. Second of all, as well, guys, we've got Tottenham next, and Tottenham seem to be in free scoring mode. Scores six past Everton. I think they scored about four or five past Bournemouth yesterday, so clearly. It's going to, be, going to be really tough for us to keep him out, so we've got to get goals on that. If we can, I'd start with Diogo Jota if he's fit, because Jota was having great impacts. He helped us beat Chelsea. He helped us get goals against Bournemouth as well before he got injured. So And he helped us beat Newcastle as well. So clearly, Jota's our main man at the moment, but that's if he comes back with the form he left on. So you've got to be fair to him. You've got to say Sais has to start. Sais has done fantastically well since he's come into the squad, and he's helped stop a difficult one as well. So you've got to keep Sais. I keep the back five. I keep the goalie. I think you keep with that team. If you could just bring Jota in for Troy Allway, I think that's the team you've got to start with. And then, obviously, off the bench, you've got Troy Allway, Cavalero, Costa, Bonatini as well. Maybe chuck Bonatini on the bench just to bring him on, give him an impact. He had an impact last time we played Tottenham, so if we need him, hopefully he can have an impact as well then. Game now, guys, I'm going to do my prediction because I'm like a fortune teller and this hat has magic powers. I do want Wolves to win and I do think we can get a point in a win if we turn up, but... I think with the way Tottenham are, there's definitely going to be a lot of goals. So I'm going for Tottenham 4, Wolves 3. I think there'll be a lot of goals, but I think Tottenham are just going to edge it. So that is my Fulham 1, Wolves 1 review and Tottenham v Wolves preview and thoughts on both matches and prediction and all that in one video. So if you liked it, hit the like button. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. Let me know in the comment section how you think Wolves will get on, whether you're a Tottenham fan, Fulham fan, Wolves fan, whatever. Just let me know in the comment section and I'll speak to you all later.